Kamusta na mga karadik? This is just a quick and very clear tutorial on how to connect or wire a K-Ignition switch with voltmeter on a brushless controller. The K-Ignition switch activates and deactivates the controller. It has three wires, black, red, and green. I will be using a 48 volts, 500 watts brushless controller for this tutorial. There are three important wires to supply power into the controller. The two thick wires, black and red, are for the battery or power source. Black wire is the negative line, red wire is the positive line, and the small red wire is the switch wire, also known as lock wire. I provided the wire connection box for this video in order to demonstrate clearly the wiring procedure. There are other ways how to do this wiring but this works best for this tutorial. I got this key ignition switch with voltmeter from Amazon. You can check the link in the description. I also added some link that you might be interested with. To make this tutorial fast, I have already connected the hub motor to the controller. And also the throttle beforehand. Let's start. This is the output port of the 48 volts battery inside my electric scooter. I will use extension wires with ring connectors to extend all the way out the battery output. Carefully place the battery positive line and the controller positive line terminals together on one bolt of the wire connection box. Then secure with the nut. Make sure to tighten enough. Do the same with the battery negative line and the controller negative line terminals. Avoid the positive and the negative line terminals from touching each other. It can cause serious damage. The red and the black wires from the battery are now linked or connected to the controller's positive and negative lines. And now, time to connect the key ignition switch. The black wire of the key ignition switch is for the negative line wires of the battery and the controller connected to each other. The green wire is for the positive line wires of the battery and the controller connected to each other. And lastly, the red wire is for the switch wire or lock wire of the controller. Now that all wires are set, time to test the key ignition switch if it's going to turn on or activate the controller. As you can see, it shows the battery level or voltage of the battery. The controller is actually activated and working properly. It is so easy, you can easily do this by yourself. Take note, the red wire of the key ignition switch should be connected to the lock or switch wire of the controller, not to the big red wire line which connects the battery positive line and the controller. If you connect the red wire of the key ignition switch to the big positive red wire line, you will notice the LCD voltage indicator always turned on even when you turned off the switch. So keep that in mind that the red wire of the key ignition switch is for the lock wire or switch wire of the controller. And the green wire of the key ignition switch is for the positive red wire line of the battery connected to the positive terminal of the controller.
Thank you so much for watching. Ride safe lang palagi mga ka-addict. At syempre, maraming maraming salamat. Muli kayong naligaw sa channel ko.